And so what I'm writing is an ode to the midnight movies, but you're going to drift through in time. And these midnight movies had a profound effect on me, and I was in a 1980s punk rock band. So you have the mystique of the punk rock band in the 1980s taking the mick out of all of these old films that came out that were made by a guy named Walter in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, and his last film was called Bonaparte Bonami, about Napoleon, and he was the reason why Stanley Kubrick didn't make Napoleon. Okay, you following me? Because if you're not, take a hike. I think the right people are following me, and it is like a Forrest Gump type story. And what this story is, is for intellectual people <laughs> who aren't into comic books, okay? So they can use their mind. And when they see a character and they can, they can use their mind and they go into that dreamlike world and they'll say, oh, this character is from the 1980s. Oh, no, that's Walter. Walter's from the 1940s through the 1960s. Oh, no, that's one of the characters that's in Walter's film. You see? So we have three timelines going on in Linoleum Blown Apart. We've got 1987 through 1997. And you go back in time to 19, really, 1930. Because of Abel Gann's five-hour silent classic, which is a triptych called Napoleon. And that is what Walter is doing when we first meet him. 